Active Assist is a collection of tools and services that simplify your resource management experience on Google Cloud. In this video, we're going to show you three recommenders that will help you zero in on the opportunities to save on the costs operating in Google Cloud. The Idle Virtual Machine, or VM, recommender, the VM Machine Type recommender, and the Unattended Project recommender. Let's get into it. On Google Cloud Compute Engine, you can spin up virtual machines and you'll only be billed for the time that each is running. This pay-as-you-go model is one of the best benefits of building your infrastructure in the cloud. At the same time, if your project has lots of virtual machines, costs can add up over time. You'll be paying for those resources whether you're actively using them or not. To avoid paying for resources that you're not using, there's two things you want to make sure of. First, ensure that every machine that's running in your project is being put to good use. And second, make sure that the virtual machines you're running have the appropriate resource allocations, such as the number of virtual CPUs and the size of the memory. For example, you'll probably like to know whether the VM running in your development environment is still being used, or if it was just a test machine that someone accidentally forgot to turn off or delete. And if it is being used, you want to be confident that it has just the right resources configured for the intended workload. You could do an audit yourself to figure these things out. If you're looking at number of projects, each with multiple virtual machines, multiple users, teams, applications, this can quickly become a labor-intensive approach. This is where a couple of recommenders can help drastically simplify the experience to help avoid paying for things that you're not using. First, the idle VM recommender will highlight VMs that haven't recently been used, so you can shut them down or delete them from your project. The recommendations for idle VMs are based on system metrics that are gathered by the cloud monitoring service over the past 14 days. For new machines, this starts a few days after creation. A VM is classified as idle when all three of these criteria are met. CPU utilization is less than 0.03 for 97% of the VM runtime. Received network traffic is less than 2600 bytes per second for 95% of the VM runtime and sent network traffic is less than 1,000 bytes per second for 95% of the VM runtime. With these criteria met, a VM is identified as idle. It's up to you to decide whether to keep it running, shut it down, or delete it completely from your project. If you shut it down, it'll stop accruing costs. Plus, you can always start it back up if you need it again in the future. So, that's idle VMs, but how can Active Assist help with costs on machines that aren't idle? Well, along with the idle VM recommender, you'll also see recommendations from the VM machine type recommender. These recommendations are also known as right sizing recommendations because they're all about finding the right size for your workloads. Right sizing recommendations are generated by monitoring the CPU and memory utilization of running VMs for the last eight days. This data helps to identify if the machines are not efficiently using all of their allocated resources. With that, the recommender can suggest a more appropriate machine type for that virtual machine. Let's say that you have an application running on an N2 standard 16 instance. That machine type has 16 virtual CPUs and 64 gigabytes of memory. If your application generally uses most of the CPU, but never really uses more than 16 gigabytes of memory, you might get a right size and recommendation to use an N2 high CPU 16 instead. This machine type has the same number of virtual CPUs, but has a lot less memory and an overall lower hourly price. When right-sizing recommendations are made for machines with less resource usage than they have allocated, applying them results in a reduction in costs without impacting your performance. The savings will multiply with every virtual machine that you're able to downsize based on these recommendations. Virtual machines aren't the only source of costs, though. Other cost-cutting recommenders include the Committed Use Discount Recommender, the Idle Custom Image Recommender, the Idle IP Address Recommender, and the Idle Persistent Disk Recommender. Beyond those resources, the unattended project recommender will help you identify projects that are potentially unused, so they can be reviewed or deleted. This is especially valuable if you're an administrator for an entire organization with lots of projects. There's a good chance some of those projects could have cloud resources that are accruing costs, even though they're not actively being used. The way it works is by analyzing project usage data over the last 30 days. For any project with low usage in that period of time, and for which there are no OAuth tokens used in the last 180 days, you'll receive a recommendation to review or delete the project. When you delete a project, you're also deleting all of the resources in that project that you're being billed for. This recommender also lets you take a proactive approach to managing projects by identifying projects that still have usage, 
but whose owners are not active on the project. For those projects, you'll get a recommendation to reclaim the project by assigning someone else as the owner. This can help prevent projects from becoming unattended in the first place by making sure that there's someone accountable for each of them. Now, let me show you how simple it is to discover and apply some recommendations from the Recommendation Hub with a few clicks. In this scenario, I've got the Compute Recommender Admin IAM role assigned so that I can view and manage idle VM and machine type recommendations. I also have the Compute Admin IAM role so that I'm able to apply the changes in those recommendations. On top of those, I'm also using the Cloud Spanner Viewer role to view the CPU utilization graphs included with the VM machine type recommendations. Now that we're in the Google Cloud Console, the first place we might notice recommendations for our virtual machines is the Compute Engine VM Instances page. This page will show all of the virtual machines associated with your project. There's a summary at the top of the page and individual recommendations next to the corresponding instance. We can see these same recommendations over in the Recommendation Hub. Let's start with the recommendations from the Idle VM Recommender. Here, in the list of recommendations, we'll see each recommendation, the instance it corresponds to, and the recommended action. Directly from here, we can click any recommendation and perform the recommended action, in this case, shutting down the instance. If stopping the instance isn't an option for us, this machine has another recommendation, to switch the machine type. Let's stop this VM for now. Let's take a look at the recommendation from the VM machine type recommender. This time, we'll see the recommendation, the corresponding instance, the recommended machine type, and the current machine type. When we click on one of the recommendations, we'll be able to see a more complete view of the recommended configuration. If we choose, we could adjust the recommended configuration and add more memory or cores. After reviewing a recommendation, if we decide it isn't applicable, we can simply dismiss it to have it removed from the recommendation hub and stop receiving the recommendation. Otherwise, we can accept the recommendation and apply it from here. Note that this will shut down the instance briefly, so make sure there's redundancy in place or that you're working within a designated maintenance window. Once the instance restarts on the new machine type, the corresponding recommendation will be marked as applied in your recommendation history. All of the Active Assist recommendations we've talked about are designed to highlight opportunities to take action on things that could be difficult to keep track of otherwise, especially when you're working with hundreds or even thousands of resources across many projects. Idle VM and right sizing recommendations help find resources that aren't being used, but that you're still paying for. Even better, the unattended project recommendations will likely tell you which projects aren't being used. And remember, recommendations are exactly what they sound like, recommendations. We call these features recommenders because there's no one better than you at knowing the full details and best steps to take. And the recommendations are only there to help you identify opportunities to dig deeper. You can check out the documentation to try these out for yourself. And don't forget about the recommendation hub where you can see all sorts of helpful recommendations. Stay tuned for the next video where we'll look at some more recommendations that will help you improve another important factor, performance. See you there.